Let's turn this sweater into a cute Cardi B two-piece. Okay, first what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the sweater three-fourths of the way. Well, it just depends on how large your sweater is. So I suggest you cut off the sleeves first and then fit your waist through the neck hole if you can do that. If not, cut the top open and then try it on. What you see me doing here is I've already cut my piece out and I'm gonna put it on and put the pins where my waist is because it is way too large for me. So the pins that you see are the pins that are the size of my waist. Now it's gonna look very tiny, but this has a lot of stretch. So that's why it's important to try it on and pin where your waist is because that determines the size of your skirt. I also suggest you again cut the sleeves off first and open it up so that it's long enough because my skirt was actually shorter than I wanted it to be but it turned out cute anyway so I used my ruler and I cut alongside of the skirt and I sew it along the sides also I took an inch down of the top and created a hem at the top for the top of my skirt so it looks cleaner and this is my final skirt. It looks very small, but it does stretch to fit, as you know, as you've seen the video already. Next, you're gonna take your sleeve, and I already opened my sleeve, but it really doesn't matter if you open it or not. Hopefully, your sleeves are large enough for these pattern pieces. You place the pattern pieces on top, cut them to your size, and you're going to use your rotary cutter and cut around your pieces. Make sure that they are doubled together. So it's important to use your sleeve as it's already there because it is doubled naturally. You're gonna do this for both sleeves, which will create four different pieces. After I cut out the pieces, what you see me doing is actually putting the pattern pieces back on top and just putting a pin where the places they are supposed to meet at to sew together, just so I don't get it confused once I remove the pattern pieces. It just allows me to keep it more organized. I then use that pin to tell me where to place my pattern pieces together because that's where I will be stitching them. You will have opposite pick pieces because you're gonna be doing one for the left and one for the right. This is gonna be for your left and the other one will be for your right or vice versa. So just watch the video, it'll help you understand what exactly I'm doing. The pattern pieces is for one cup. I am now using a straight stitch to sew down this fabric. If your fabric doesn't have a lot of stretch, I suggest use a zigzag stitch, but this fabric has a ton of stretch, so I was just able to use a straight stitch just to connect those two pieces together. Again, this is just for one bust. The bust cups will be doubled, so you will really have four different pieces the inside the outside of both cups i hope that makes sense you will connect the pieces by putting them face together because you will be turning them inside out so again just watch the video for instructions you will then stitch around the outside of the cups leaving the bottom part open because you need that part open to turn it inside out After turning them inside out, you're going to do a top stitch on both cups in the same area. Once you have completed the top stitch, you're going to put both cups facing the correct way and you're going to do a snip in the inner corners of your top. This is going to create the curve in the bust line. Next, you're going to place both cups on some additional fabric that you have left over from your skirt and you're going to separate them about an inch apart. Then you're going to use your scissors to outline those cups. That is going to create the, the, the band for your bra top. If you watch the video, it'll help you figure out exactly what I mean. Once that is cut out, you're going to remove the extra fabric and you're going to turn that fabric inside out and sew that middle piece together on the inside. Once that is stitched, you're going to 
return it to the right side out and then you're going to stitch your cuffs down to each curve and how you do that is you match up the inner corner and the outer corner of the cups using pins Once that is all pinned together, you're going to stitch that down. After it's all stitched, you're going to pin on top and do a quick top stitch just to make sure that those cups lie flat. To create the extension to the top, you're going to use some additional fabric and you're going to align it with the sides of the top. Make sure that they are the same size at the beginning. At the end, it can be tapered off or it can be the same size because you're going to just be tying that around your back. So I'm going to use some additional fabric and just create a double of each one. You're going to turn them inside out and you're going to stitch along the sides. Leave a space open because you're going to turn them inside out. Once you turn them inside out, you're going to do a quick top stitch. I always recommend doing a top stitch just to keep everything in place. Sometimes when you fold fabric inside out, it can become bulky around the edges. So top stitching just makes it look neater. Once both pieces are top stitched and ready to go, you're going to add them to the side of your bra top and you're going to do a seam down the side. Make sure that it stretches out to fit the entire side. Now when it comes to the belt for my garment, luckily my neckline for my sweater did the job. Now if you don't have this, you can do some with some fabric and do the same things as you did with the extensions. Grab two pieces, straight pieces, sew them on the sides, turn them inside out. I was able to use the neckline, which was great. The piece that I'm making now is for the tie around the neck. This will be the same thing that you do for a belt if you do not have a neckline that you can use. So you're going to cut a piece and I'm using this to measure the size that I want because I originally was going to use this for the belt, but I decided that I didn't have to because my neckline actually worked perfectly. So I just cut about an inch and a half worth of fabric along a strip and sold it on both sides and turned it inside out. Once that piece was all stitched together, I end up cutting it in half and sewing it to the top part of my bralette, creating the straps for around my halter top. And I add a buckle to the neckline by just folding this part inside through and stitching it down. This is how I quickly attached the strings or the straps for the halter top. It looks kind of weird because I'm holding my camera with one hand, so I only have my left hand to add to the top. But what you're going to do is just add those pieces to the corners of the bra top and just do a stitch and stitch them down.
And there you have it, a Cardi B inspired two piece made from a $15 sweater. Super cute. I hope you guys like my video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more fashion, fun, fierce videos. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you later. Mwah.